the recreation site quarters is really an interesting story. I've had people say, no, there's no way that building could be that close. But actually, it's based on science. It's based on archaeology. We found exactly all of the footers. And because that area had never really been disturbed, a lot of those buildings were just pushed over. We found the nails, the door hinges. We found descriptions of people who'd visited Montpelier. We also looked at other slave dwellings in the area. And all of those pieces, with lots and lots of experts involved, help us recreate the enslaved community, which we call the South Yard. Mama sold away despite a lifetime of stories. It is going to tell the story of slavery at Montpelier, not only in the time of Madison, but really bringing the story forward to the legacy of slavery in the United States today. What's unique about it is not only will you have these kind of high touch and interactive exhibits under the whole house and in these buildings, these recreated slave quarters, but a lot of the story is told in the voice of people who were descended from people who had been slaved here at James Madison's Montpelier. That is really a unique opportunity. Time, you're holding on to your culture and your custom, and the master doesn't always know that. The kind of deeper story of, about what slavery meant here really hasn't been told fully, and um, now we feel like we have this opportunity to tell the complete American story. Well, over the lifetime of the Madisons, of uh, three generations, about 300 people were enslaved in Montpelier. Probably at the height of Montpelier, there were about 100 folks here. Towards the end of Madison's life, there are much fewer because the economy and the plantation starts to shrink. But it's an enormous treasure trove, as you can imagine, of stories and a lot of sorrow, happiness. These were real people who made this life possible at Montpelier. You can't leave the story in the past. You, you, the story of slavery cannot stay as a, a historic fact because it's so connected to our DNA as a country and so connected to the issues we're uh, wrestling with today in terms of race in America. And I think um, now we have a full museum experience. We open uh, to the public on June 5th, Monday, June 5th, and we can't wait to have people, especially from the D.C. area, um, down to Montpelier to see um, to see everything that's going on.